If a woman does this, she's going to be loyal to you. And we're going to dive into this in a second. Now, I just want to share with you guys that dating is a dance between attraction, compatibility, and a person's character. And there's more nuances to that, but we're just going to dive into this area. The challenge for many of you men is you, the a lot of the YouTube conversation out there, a lot of the rhetoric out there in the dating, mating, or relating realm, including Reddit out there, hyper-focuses on attraction and not enough about compatibility and character. And we're going to talk about that in a second. See, it's all folk. A lot of the red pill conversation, the manosphere conversation is all focused that men must focus on being highly successful in their professional life, making lots of money, being in great physical condition and be hyper focused on your purpose because this is very attractive to a woman. And they oftentimes bring up the hypergamy and, you know, like a woman is going to choose the highest status man. And certainly that does make sense on a, on a biological or an, even an instinctual level. There is some relative truth to that. And yet human beings are far more complex. And given that we are swimming in a sea of dysfunctionality in the dating, mating, and relating realm, particularly for those in their, you know, whether you're in your 20s and 30s or you're in that category of 40s, 50s, 60s, and even 70s. And why I'm bringing this up is a significant percentage of people in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s most likely are single because of a divorce or widowed, unlike those in their 20s and 30s. So what's missing in dating today? I believe there's a, what's missing is a level of intentionality, being intentional. And it's interesting, if you've ever watched the Netflix series Indian Matchmaker or Jewish Matchmaker, there is a completely different approach to choosing a partner that is quite literally based on being intentional in the approach and matching people based on compatibility and character. And so when we lean into the conversation of loyalty, I think it's really important to understand the dynamics of loyalty, um, particularly in the areas that we just mentioned. So building trust, that's a significant component of loyalty is when you've built trust with another human being. And trust isn't just about fidelity. Trust isn't just about being uh, impeccable with your word, although those are important factors for building trust. One of the most important factors of trust is, is caring about the other person's feelings and, and being like, in other words, caring about their feelings, their best interest, as much as you would care about your own feelings and best interest. In other words, not necessarily putting up someone up on a pedestal. And guys, I'm just going to tell you this, that's a dangerous place to put a person. But certainly treat them commensurate to yourself. That's the importance of building trust. Establishing commitment, actually having deeper conversations about commitment sooner rather than later helps to build loyalty. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more detailed in a moment. Certainly being men, when you have a capacity to be vulnerable, authentic, and transparent with who you are as a person, and I don't mean from a place of insecurity or a place of, of vomiting your emotions, uh, um, and being the opposite of that and being stoic regarding your emotions, I mean being vulnerable, authentic, transparent. That's simply being true to yourself. And I think it's important to be true to yourself. And so if you have a propensity to stuff your emotions, stuff your feelings, be stoic, not share for fear of this is going to be less attractive, just remember deep intimacy happens when we share from our heart and not from a repressed state. Now, one of the other factors for building loyalty in a relationship is the integration of each other's lives into each other's lives. When you can actually integrate, whether it's spending time with family and friends, whether it's social activities, hobbies, mutual interest, maybe it's traveling together. When you begin to integrate your lives with one another, you establish the deep roots of trust and certainly that's, that's also important to recognize uh, how we approach money in a relationship is also another critical factor for building trust, for building loyalty. Actually having these conversations 
instead of surface level. When I mentioned the Jewish matchmaker or Indian matchmaker, they take all of this into account when they're actually trying to match people together. Now, another factor of building loyalty, I'm going to talk about in a moment, is the real understanding of when you reach that space of saying, I love you to another person. When you say, I love you to a person, what does that really mean to you? I'm inviting all you guys to explore the words, what I love you means. Now, I'm going to give you my illustration and see if that resonates with you or not. I believe I love you means I'm here. You matter. We are important. I've got your back. I'm not going anywhere and I only want you. I'm here means I'm present to this experience. I'm not thinking about a past girlfriend or she's not thinking about a past lover in her life. She's not hyper-focused on the future. You're not hyper-focused on the future. You're present to this experience. You matter. That means your feelings matter to me. I'm putting you at that level of my own because that demonstrates there's a level of, I see you in a level of worth and you're both mutually doing that. We are important. That means the relationship is a separate entity. There's a you, there's a me, and there's a collective we. It's a separate entity. And recognizing that a relationship has its own value and being honorable and respectful to that value. I've got your back. What's well, kind of the essence of loyalty? I'm going to be there for you when you need me. I'm not going anywhere. I'm fully committed to this relationship and I only want you means you're the only woman or, or you're the only man I want to be physically intimate with. See, these are the building blocks to building or build, building blocks to building. These are the blocks to building true loyalty with another person. So one of the things I invite all my clients to do is to recite what's known as my dating vows in the early stage of dating. And by the way, here's a copy of my dating vows. There'll be a link below to get my dating vows. But I invite you guys to start to recite this early on. This builds loyalty in a relationship. And it goes something like this. It's where you both agree to the following. I, you state your name, Agree to explore the process of getting to know you with the intent to declare something serious in the next three to six months. I agree to be monogamous sexually while we're having regular sex together. I agree not to actively seek to meet and date others while we're in the dating process, including taking down my dating profile. I agree to speak up if this isn't working for me versus pulling back, ghosting, or disappearing. I agree to invest regular time in the process to getting to know you, which looks like spending three or four days and nights a week together, doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends, traveling together, teamwork, building skills, both in our personal and professional life, intimacy, both physical and emotional intimacy that leads to either eventually moving in together or getting married. Having these intentional conversations early builds trust, which builds loyalty. So guys, how do you know she's worth it? How do you know she's worth it? Let's examine her character. Let's examine her character. Do her actions consistently match her words? It's rather important to establish that someone's words and actions matter. And if they are inconsistent, it's very difficult for that woman or man to be loyal in a relationship because they're not loyal to themselves. Their commitment, their words and their actions differ from one another. Certainly a woman who has a generous, kind spirit about her. Not everyone, every woman has a generous and kind spirit. Believe it or not, there are a lot of women out there who are deeply wounded, who struggle being generous and kind. But those women who are genu genuinely generous and kind oftentimes have a greater propensity to loyalty than those who don't. Certainly, she can clearly communicate. She clear, she communicates clearly without having to be right. Oh my gosh, today we are suckling on the nipple of I'm right and you're wrong in our form of communication. We don't see the other person's point of view. And when a person operates like that, it's difficult for them to be loyal. Now, certainly she doesn't use people. She's very clear about commitment. I'm going to tell you guys, there are a lot of women out there that have been so deeply hurt and wounded from their past relationship that they're not even desirous of a significant committed relationship. And that could 
not bear to bear well for you when it comes to her capacity for loyalty. Now, certainly if she has her act together, that's a great sign that she has a propensity to being loyal, both on an emotional and a physical component of having her act together. She has self-control. She doesn't fly off the handle. She doesn't chase sex or drugs or alcohol or partying, which a lot of women do, particularly younger women. They're in that mode of play and not in that mode of wanting to be in a fully committed relationship. Certainly, if she's healed from her past relationship, she's not pining for someone in the past. She certainly has, has closure on her past relationships, make her greater chance for her to be loyal in a relationship. She does introspective work. Maybe she goes to therapy. Maybe she does personal development, self-help, or spiritual work. But she has a level of introspection in her life. And she believes demonstrating trust is paramount in, her, in, in, the, in the building of a relationship. And we already discussed those building blocks of trust. Certainly when you find a woman of good character who is intentional in the dating process and you can have these kind of grown-up conversations earlier on, it's either going to, you know, your relationship is going to find its way to long-term commitment or it's going to fizzle out very quickly. I'm here to encourage you men to be more intentional in the process. Use some of these tools like the dating vows I listed below. And certainly if you want to connect with me, hey, schedule a discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. I can help further your perceptions about attracting a woman who's loyal to you and is going to be there for you in the long run. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating with you? Please let me know. If it is, post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. As always, if you find value in my videos, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell as well. And guys, I just want you to know, when you show up operating in character like we just discussed in this video, you have a greater chance of finding a woman who's loyal to you. All right, guys, take care. Be well. Bye now.